Hi, good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm going to the office so I got all, all gussied up. <laughs> I mean, I'm still wearing my leggings, so let's not get carried away. I'm not that dressed up. And I have on the most comfortable pair of shoes ever. I took a little video to put in this video of my shoes because I wanted to show y'all. They're amazing. Hold on just a second. Y'all, no joke. These are the most comfortable pair of shoes I think I own. They're made by Le Artiste. They're very expensive shoes. However, <laughs> watch. Okay, stop, Tracy. That was always a test for my mother when she bought shoes. But I found them, I think it was on Amazon or it might have been on Zoo Lily. And they had them uh, marked down so much that you wouldn't believe it because their shoes are very expensive. And I want to say these were maybe $35 to $40. And they're probably $200 shoes. But y'all, they feel like a glove. They feel amazing. And I just wanted to show you my cute shoes. Look up that brand, Le Artis. They have some wild shoes. And if I was extremely wealthy, I might buy a pair. <laughs> so, it dawned on me last night that the reason that my penny girl may have been having some gastrointestinal issues you know, the toots, <laughs> was because I, being the really good mom that I am, bought cheap treats. Now, she has always been able to eat just whatever. I always said she had the belly of a goat because she, she would, she would just eat whatever. I mean, she has eaten poo for Pete's sake, okay? Charlie, on the other hand, Everything bothered him. Everything bothered him. He couldn't have anything with wheat or corn. Then he got to the point where he couldn't eat chicken. And it was always a struggle to feed him. Jeez, oh, now she goes back to this side. Whoops, sorry. It was always a struggle to feed him because I would think I found something that he can eat that won't upset his stomach. And he would eat on it for a little, you know, a little while, a couple of days, whatever, he would start getting sick again. He was my dog. I understood his issues with food because I have the same issues with food, right? So, when Penny moved in with me, <laughs> Penny was very limited on her diet because everything I bought was grain-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, all the freeze for Charlie. And I couldn't buy her anything different because let me tell you, Charlie didn't care that he had, uh-oh, I felt a spider web. Charlie didn't care that he had issues. He was gonna eat it anyway. And then mom will clean up after me. I mean, you know, dogs don't understand the concept. They're like, mmm, that has wheat and corn, so it has to be better. It has to taste better. It probably did. Come on, babe, we're not going back there. We are not going in them woods. Even though they're, Even though they're probably 10 to 15 feet deep, I'm still not going back there. Anyway, Penny lived on Charlie's diet. I keep her on the same dog food, because that's what she likes and has become accustomed to. And it is gluten, corn, all the things free. Why does she have to go in her garden? I'll be back. Oh, this is my fault. The whole day yesterday of her clawing to get inside my body was my fault. Mm -hmm. I went to the grocery store the other day and I saw that they had pepperoni. And I was like, Oh, my sister's dog love, loved them. So, I bought a little bag of pepperoni. And I was like, this would be a little great treat for her, you know? Well, <laughs> apparently not. Why is everybody's mailbox covered down? Well, I'm not going to close theirs because I, they never speak to me. 
But I am going to close Leanne's. Just because. Just because she's got mail in it. And the door is hanging wide open. Our mail didn't run till after like 8.30 last night or something. Anyway, so I think the cheap treats did it. You know, one of these days, I'm going to get my phone back in the right place. Probably not. I am, oops, on the way to get some lunch. And I stopped in the chiropractor's office and said, Chick-fil-A, because she had somebody in there with her. And she said, number one, sweet tea. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. And she just Venmo's me money. Sometimes I forget to ask and sometimes I remember to ask. Today my brain worked and I remember to ask. But speaking of my brain working, I have been chatting with my friend Mitzi this morning via text messages. You like how I said via like I'm fancy instead of via? Anyway, I told her, and I know, I know I'm gonna probably get yelled at that I'm not old or anything, but I'm not saying I'm old. I'm just saying, I just had the realization that in December, I'm going to turn 59. That is my last year in my 50s. And for some reason, that has struck me as odd. Because that means that next year, I'll be 60. And I don't believe it. Because in my brain, not in my body. Mm -mm, no, because my back's like, you ever bit of 82. In my mind, I told Mitzi, I'm still 38 at a Matchbox 20 slash train concert dancing in the mud and rain under a tarp pretending to be Cornholio. That's who I am in my brain. See, I'm going to stay young in my brain. It's just my body. Have you ever noticed as you age, okay, I I'm saying from people that I've seen age, they usually, not always, but I'm trying to cover myself here in every way that I can, but they usually either have their mind and their body falls apart, or they have their body and their mind falls apart, typically. That doesn't always happen. There are those rare circumstances that people keep mind and body and then they just wake up uh, deceased. Probably don't wake up deceased, but uh, we had a guy that worked for us. His name was Wit, W-I-T, Wit. And he said he was gonna work until he became deceased. He didn't want to quit working. He was in his, I believe he was already in his 90s if not very late 80s, still coming to work every day. And he said, when you quit working, this was his logic, when you quit working, you become deceased. And I think he finally had to give up coming to work every day. And I think he only lived about I don't know. It doesn't seem like it was very long. Within a year, he became deceased. But he also got to the point that he couldn't drive himself to work. And he, was, he just wasn't doing well. But what a testament to work every day for that long. Now, he worked part-time. And he could come and go as he pleased. It wasn't like, oh, I got to get up and go to work. He said, I get up early, I have my coffee, I, you know, have breakfast, and then I'm like, well, going to work. And he would work for a few hours, and then he would go home. It wasn't anything that, trust me, he wasn't stressed at work. He sat in the property room and yelled at people all day, pretty much. Not yelled in a bad way, but, you know, he was wit. He yelled at people. What the hell you want? Was mostly what he was saying. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, he he worked almost until he became deceased. I think there's something to be said about that. My dad worked until I think he was, well, 85. He got up and went to work just about every day. And he finally quit when he was having all this trouble with congestive heart failure. So, you know, hey. 
He's still got his mind. His body's hanging in there. So he's one of the exceptions. I mean, his knee's not hanging in there, but the rest of his body's hanging in there. Why am I talking about all this? I don't know. I have no clue. All I know is my mind is still at the Matchbox 20 train concert. And some of y'all are probably like, who? Yeah. But that was my jam back in the 90s. <laughs> Early 2000s? 90s? I think, it, I think they were at late 1990s band. Which is very odd for me because I like the... Uh, oh, oh, missed the turn. Missed the turn. I'm in the parking lot. I'm a, you know, 70s, 70s rocker. I don't know what that hand gesture was. Is that some sort of uh, gang I'm in, you know? Anyway, <laughs> I, for some reason, Megan wanted to, not for some reason, start that sentence over. Megan took a picture of me and Trina the other day, and here's where it comes. And for some reason, I did this. Why? You're almost 60, Tracy. Grow up. I'm here. Stand by. I was so wild that as a youngster <laughs> that my first concert was Kenny Rogers. That's what a wild thing I was. Mm -hmm. Kenny Rogers down at uh, the Omni in Atlanta. And I don't know who my second concert, I don't remember who my second concert was. I never went to any wild concerts. I probably the wildest concert, which it wasn't even that wild, was when I went to see Prince. And I'm so glad I got to see him. Let's see. Most of my concerts have been Christian rock bands. Mm -hmm. I'm wild. One of my best friends, Kim, her first concert was like, I don't know, Kiss or Metallica or something. I was like, I was a boring child. I'm telling you, I was just boring. Because I, well, I never liked that hard rock. She loved it, loved it, not loves it anymore. She's like, I don't know how I did that. She was a headbanger. I mean, she, she was a rocker way back in the day. Now, I think who I, you know, I, I've said this before, but who I wanted to be on the inside is not who I am on the outside. Because who I am on the inside is, is a hippie and a rocker sort of but not really because i don't like that hard rock i'm a soft rocker wearing my rock and roll clothes and my hippie clothes and and here i am just as vanilla and boring as i can be well i mean i'm not that boring because i do have on a black studded angel wing <laughs> i'm delirious <laughs> i'm delirious oh my gosh anyway I'm about to get my food. I get my food on. It's been a week. I'm trying to limit myself, you know? The person in front of me needs to look up and realize that traffic has moved on and they need to go. Roll on up, sister, roll on up. She's having to come back and tell her to move up. Good night. I'll be back, they're making me mad. You know you go to Chick-fil-A too much when you recognize one of the workers and you're like, <laughs> Can you tell her Tracy said hey? And she comes walking out. She's like, oh, hey. But she's at the, uh, well, normally, she's at the other Chick-fil-A. This phone, oh my gosh. It's shaking. I don't know if y'all can really tell that it's shaking, but it bothers me. Anyway, she's normally at the one that I used to go to before they completely leveled it. But she said they had an estimated completion date of December. <laughs> I said, but there's no building. It's just flat land, just like Kansas, flat land. But I've never been to Kansas. This is an interesting tidbit for you. She said they build it, the Chick-fil-A, they build it in a warehouse and they pretty much just drive up, drop it, I guess assemble it because I don't think that whole building would come. Maybe it's like a mobile home and it comes in two parts or something. Anyway, that's interesting, isn't it? She said, but now they're thinking it's going to be the beginning of the year, next year, when I'm going to turn 60. <laughs> it just doesn't seem possible. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm going to be old 
Because being old, I'm, that's you're as old as you feel. And I don't feel old, except for my back pain. That makes me feel old. But you know what I'm saying? I don't feel old. And not, 60's not, I'm digging a deep hole and I'm gonna get yelled at in the comments. 60 is not old. I just can't believe that I, the person who still laughs at dad jokes and who finds everything funny is gonna be 60. 60, 60. How is this possible? I was just 38 yesterday. You know what though? <laughs> Uh, well, no, that's not true. I was about to say I still have the same dryer that I had at 38, but that's not true. But I do still have the same dryer that I had when I was 40. Same dryer, yeah. And the same cat. <laughs> same cat, same dryer. That's weird, isn't it? Uh, I mean, maybe because I feed her on the dryer, they're feeding each other. You know, they're taking care of each other. I don't, that's a weird thing to say, Tracy. I'm almost back to work, so I'm going to stop talking now because I'm sounding like a blooming, you know what, a blooming onion. Thank you for all the onion comments yesterday. I'll tell you a weird story about an onion. I've told it before, but I got a bunch of new people. This lady came to jail one time, and she went to the infirmary because she was having abdominal pain. And when they did a pelvic, because we do have nurses and doctors in jails, when they did a pelvic on her, they discovered that she had an onion, an onion, a whole entire onion shoved up there. And when they asked her why, she said, because it was to help cut down on odor. It didn't work. That's all I'm saying, it didn't work. I didn't smell it, but I know for a fact that it didn't work. There's your onion story for today. I'm going back to work, goodbye. Well, I'm home from work now, and I don't think anything could top the onion story, so I guess I'll just leave it at that, yeah. <laughs> Hope you've had a great day. By the way, Penny is fine. She played this morning before I left for work. She played with her ball. She played with her hippo. And she ate her little approved treat, not the other ones. And then uh, when I got home, she was very excited to see me. She wasn't nervous. She wasn't freaking out. And she played and we went outside and she ran. She's perfectly fine today. So apparently whatever, I'm thinking it's the treats that caused some gastric distress if that's the right verbiage there and um today she's fine so we're just gonna go with it because i'm telling you if she had been like that again today she was going to the vet that she don't know that word anyway that's it for this one i love you jesus loves you i hope he's coming back soon because these people will be crazy and I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which is when? Tomorrow. Because I post every day. Yeah. Thanks for looking up my videos and staying in contact with me. And by the way, when I post that thing like I did yesterday of the top fans or whatever, that's just some list that uh, they compile. And I shared it. And I think the only way to get on that list, I don't know, is to comment and um, like and all that stuff, I have no idea. I just thought I would share it because it was in my feed. And I was like, well, okay. I don't, I don't remember seeing it before, but <laughs> I could have missed it. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Okay, bye. Did you hang up yet? Are you still there? Okay, I'm going to hang up. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.